Okay, this is uh, a brief rundown of um, my aquaponics system. You're looking at about a 3,000 litre poly tank there, which is the fish tank. Um, inside, you'd be lucky to see them, about 80 silver perch. Everything fairly clean. Water coming through there, aerating, comes out of a um, trickle filter. It's full of 25mm lap gravel. We've got a bubbler there too. When summer arrives, I'll have to get an extra bubbler. Going on around into the greenery. Now, the way this all flows is from underneath this greenhouse, this bed here, there is a sump tank which is the centre of it all. Sump pumps water from there into the fish tank, that black line. It overflows and comes back out through this series of filters. First one, water through the bottom, goes through some scrubbies out to the top. Um, so that's uh, like a solids filter, mechanical solids filter. And this one is a backup to the first one in case I forget to clean it out one week. And then that overflows into a, another trickle filter which aerates the water. Um, and then it sends it back down into that sump tank. Now from there, the sump tank pumps to these uh, four beds up top here, all of them about 250 plus litres. Um, they pump generally 15 minutes on, and then they drain over 45 minutes. So 15 on, 15 off, sorry, 45 off. Going over this way, we've got our pipes. Um, from the sump again, pumps up through this filter here and then goes into the pipes and then comes back via that pipe there back into the sump back into the sump we have a new addition which are these two new beds um, yeah they're, they're ready to go um, just need some new planting out and hooking the plumbing up and we will be hooking up in this little section here a series of buckets to have tomato plants grow and give them a bit more room um, further up the track, we are going to up the hill there be putting a, with that little cages, be putting a five meter by one meter by half meter deep, um, a deep water culture bed for um, red claw and that will all be connected to this same system.